Hello guys and we're here, welcome to this episode where we're going to head over across the border, we're going to head into Spain and visit two towns on the Costa del Sol. So come join me for this guys, it's going to be fantastic. So here we are, very good morning from Gibraltar, we're getting the bus down to the border today as we head over across the border into Spain and up to the Costa del Sol. Now today's journey is going to take us through La Linea, we're going to cross the border and actually when we get across the border there is no issues, we are told to show our accommodation uh, bookings which we did, we did have legitimate accommodation bookings on this trip and yeah very straightforward we're across the border and we've arrived at La Linea bus station where we're going to take the bus north towards Malaga so yeah it's a beautiful sunny day here although it is pretty chilly with a top temperature of only 16 degrees but nevertheless absolutely fantastic day and it's looking to be an absolutely beautiful week here over the Christmas period so here we are guys, we've arrived at Malaga Airport. Although we are not flying anywhere today, we're gonna to catch a local train. And we're gonna to head to a town called Benalla Madina on the coast here. So come join us as we're gonna check out two towns at the Costa del Sol. Come join me. So here we are at the airport train station. Now if you are gonna use this uh, local railway between Fuengirola and Malaga, a good thing to know is that they accept contactless card, which is quite rare in Spanish cities. I know the Metro in Malaga does not accept contactless, but the train line does, and it is a pretty cheap price. I think it only costs about €1.80 a journey. So guys, we made it here to Ben La Madina. We're just waiting for our Uber to pick us up now. Head over to the apartments and hopefully we'll be able to go around town and do some exploring before we lose this sunlight. It's about 4.30 in the evening now, so I reckon we've only got about an hour and a half before it gets dark here. But come join me as we check out Ben La Madina. Now when travelling on the Costa del Sol, we always like to use Uber and sometimes you get some really decent cars turn up as your Uber like this BMW that picked us up from the train station. But now we've arrived at the Dora Mar and well, it is very... Uh, bargain bucket hotel I think it is the cheapest one on the Costa del Sol it's only 40 euros a night and they have a bar downstairs which uh, we'll go and visit a little bit later on but let's have a look they've got a swimming pool I mean I would not swim in it seeing as it's a 16 degrees air temperature but it's nice to see the water filled up most places the water is drained from the pool so we've come down to the bar of our hotel here and I kid you not, the most curious thing has happened, we've been transported back into England. It's completely full of English people. We arrive at this dead run-down hotel, we come here, the place is absolutely full of life. So we're going to hang around the bar here. And it'll be uh, interesting to see what the English are doing here in Bedlam Adana in the winter, mid-December. So let's see, let's... See what's going to happen this evening. So, we joined a table of people from the north of England. Very nice people. Had a good evening. We all had a few drinks. And then there was this karaoke. And it was surprised to see this place so busy in the middle of December. But I guess that's what happens when you have cheap flights and cheap accommodation available. Very good morning guys from here in Ben La Madina. And today we're going to have a little look around this town. We're going to visit the Christmas market. Or we might go and see some dolphins as well. So come join me as we take a look around the Costa del Sol's. One of its favourite towns. Come on, let's have a look. So here we are. This is Ben La Madina's Christmas market. Now, if you've been to one Christmas market in Spain, you've been to them all. They're all pretty similar. But let's see what's on offer. You get a lot of these little figurines. They sell like nativity figurines. I don't know what the link between this and the Namaste Hindu stuff is. I don't think Hindus celebrate Christmas. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, we've got these bowls as well, which we actually picked up a couple of bowls. But unfortunately, it broke on the way back home to Gibraltar. 
But yeah, as we can see now, it's not really busy. We've got to remember it is only one o'clock in the afternoon or so. Got loads of toys and stuff. And yeah, it's nice to see around, but you can imagine this being more busy in the evening times where families are out after dinner. You can see though there, the bars are pretty full here. And again, quite a lot of British people out and about. So yeah, but as I say, the weather a bit chilly again today and there's a bit of a wind. So yeah, it's definitely keeping the temperature down. It was a little bit warmer yesterday. But anyway, we'll carry on and just enjoying our walk around this lovely Christmas market. But we can see there people just sitting out and enjoying the day. This is the house of culture here and you've got the flags blowing. I do like my flag shots. And yeah, you can see it's just a normal Wednesday afternoon here in Ben La Madina. I think it's time to head off now. Yeah. So guys, I know we said we might see dolphins today, but given the weather yeah. conditions here, as it's absolutely windy, and uh, never mind my little jumper here, it is pretty chilly as well. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna catch the train behind us, we're gonna head into Malaga City, and we're gonna check out the Christmas markets in Malaga. So come join us.